Today I'm going to talk about smart objects and how they benefit my workflow. And without further ado, I'm going to bring in an image that I took a few years ago of one of my friends um, to illustrate what a smart object is and what it does. So currently it's set up as a smart object when you import photos into Photoshop. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on the image and rasterize the layer. And for those who don't know what rasterizing means, it's basically telling Photoshop now to treat this as a pixel-based image. And uh, to illustrate that, I am going to take the image and resize it to something very small. I'm gonna hit Control T again on this, and now I'm gonna make the image big again. And you see what's happening here? Um, Photoshop lost all of that high resolution information. So I'm gonna hit undo a couple of times, uh, Control Z, Z. And um, now we're back to this being a smart object. And in order to make turn this into a smart object you do the same thing as what we did when we rasterized it so right click on your layer and convert to smart object now what's going to happen i'm going to click Control t again and resize this to something small click enter and then when i hit Control t again for my free transform tool i'm going to bring this in and as you can see um, it's a much different result than what we had before. All that pixel information is preserved and still remains even when you shrink the image down completely. The reason for this is because when you turn something into a smart object, essentially you're sending all the layers that you had highlighted when you're sending it to a smart object, um, you're bringing those into a new Photoshop file and it's saved there to access that Photoshop file, all you need to do is double click on this thumbnail. So I'm gonna double click and then it brings you into the original image and I'm gonna put these uh, two windows side by side. Here is my smart object and the untitled uh, version here is my Photoshop file I was bringing it all into. So just to show you what you can do with a smart object as well is when you go into your smart object, you can add layers into it. I'm going to bring in a text layer here. I'll hit save in this smart object file, control S, and now you see it, it popped up into my Photoshop document. I'm going to click back into the Photoshop document and when I click on this smart object, you're not seeing two layers, you're just seeing the one and it contains that text. And if I hit the free transform tool again, I can resize it. And then if you don't want that text again, you can go back into your smart object and maybe hide those, those layers, the, the text layer we just created. And um, when we hit save again, so control S, it disappears because it's no longer there. Another benefit with smart objects is that it retains effects a little bit differently than other layers do. So to illustrate that, I'm going to bring in this text again and I'll bring it into our Photoshop file and I'll just close this smart object for now. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take my text layer and I'm gonna go into effects and I'm going to add a stroke to it. I'll hit okay on it. And when you hit transform, so control T, transforming it, and you start to make this bigger, your stroke still remains eight pixels. Um, and so when you're scaling up or down, it's always retaining the pixel size of your stroke, but maybe you want it to retain the proportions of the stroke instead of the, the pixel width. So to do that, you do that with a smart object. So I'm gonna hit undo and bring it back here. And maybe you really want that thickness to translate into your text when you're sizing it up. Right click on your text layer, hit convert to smart object. When you transform it again and make it bigger, um, that, that stroke width will remain proportional. And that's why I like using smart objects, or one of the reasons, you know, there's, there's many benefits, but um, just thought I'd give you a quick glance of what smart objects are and how I use them. Hope you enjoyed that, see you later.